And then when I came back from Argentina a couple of weeks ago, I came in at Kennedy Airport at six o'clock in the morning, and I get on the E-train coming in from Jamaica at 6.30 in the morning, and it's packed, it's absolutely packed. And it's packed mainly by women and women of color, looking absolutely exhausted, going into the city to wake it up so that the suits can come in and everything is nice and smooth, and they can, you know, they're either gonna take care of the kids or they're gonna do you know, something of this sort. And, and those, that's the population when you start to look at distribution of income in New York City. I mean, this recent study was absolutely uh, uh, astonishing uh, that uh, there's a million people in New York City trying to live on $10,000 a year. Half of the population of New York City is trying to get by on $30,000 a year. And, and uh, you know, they have no right to the city at all. They have no right to anything. And yet they are the labor force, in many instances, they are the labor force which actually supports daily life in the city. And the calculation is that the 1% actually earns in one day that $10,000, which some people are surviving on. You know, these class disparities, which have grown hugely. Uh, and this is one of the great success stories, I think, that Occupy Wall Street from, as far, from watching it from far away. So it, it changed the conversation about social inequality.